And the uh, first topic of conversation we, we are redoing today, actually, is the singularity. So yes. I, thankfully, have completely forgotten what we talked about last time. So we can uh, start from scratch. Okay. Now, now, Scott, it seems pretty obvious to me that at some point in the not-too-distant future, we're going to build an AI smart enough to improve itself and having improved itself, make additional improvements to itself, and it will um, and uh, it will go foom upward in intelligence. And uh, by the time it exhausts available avenues for improvement, it will be a super intelligence relevant to us, uh, relative to us. Do you feel that this is obvious? And if not, why not? The main thing that I uh, uh, consider non-obvious in your statement is the uh, is the qualifier not too distant. In, in not too distant future, so uh, so so here, here's the I think I think uh, uh, our difference here is really uh, a quantitative one, you know. But uh, quantitative differences, if they're large enough, can can uh, sort of look a lot like qualitative uh, differences. So I mean, um, okay. So this, um, uh, you know, I I, uh, I saw this uh, blocking heads that you did uh, a couple. Years years ago, I think, with John Horgan, right, and he uh, sort of expressed what I think is the reaction of uh, many people when they first hear about this singularity idea, which is that it sounds like completely crazy science fiction. It's the, you know, the rapture of the nerds, right, is the, uh, you know, uh, word used for it, right, or it's this uh, religious kind of fantasy uh, that, uh, you know, we're all going to have uh, eternal life, we're going to be uh, immortal, or, you know, uh, uh, the super intelligence is, uh, well, it's, you know, either going to create a utopia or a dystopia, one or the other. I mean, it just sounds so much like what, you know, people have been uh, uh, fantasizing about for such a long time. But just well, a new language. no, no it, just it, doesn't, it doesn't actually sound like that. It is recognized by them, so their brain completes the pattern and they fill in all this other stuff regardless of whether or not anyone has actually told it to them. They expect it to be there, so they just assume that it is there. Um, I think it's fairly important to distinguish between things that are actually part of the position versus things that people expect ought to be there since their brain has categorized it as a fantasy, and then they just sort of make up all the details that they expect to hear. Yes, well, I, said, I did say sounds like. I didn't say is like. I was uh, just summarizing the reaction of uh, most people to that because I wanted to contrast it with my reaction. I don't reject it okay. in those terms. Um, I think that... Um, you know, if it uh, uh, first of all, if it is wrong, then it's certainly not obviously wrong. Uh, uh, so, you know, the idea that uh, we could build uh, computers that are that are smarter than us, or that uh, we could, uh, um, you know, and that those computers could build still smarter computers, and so on, until we sort of reach the physical limits of what kind of intelligence is possible, or that we could build things that uh, 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 that sort of are to us as, uh, uh, you know, as we are to, to ants, right? I mean, all of this is compatible with the laws of physics as I understand them, and I, I can't find a reason of principle why uh, it couldn't eventually come to pass. So, uh, you know, as I said, I think the main thing that we, that we disagree about is really the time scale. Um, so, uh, you know, um, you said the not too distant future. Uh, you know, I assume that by that, you know, you, you're, you're talking on a, on a span of decades, but Decades is fair. Um, okay. And 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 if I would meant ten decades, I would have or, or more, I would have said centuries. So, yes. um, but one to ten decades. One sure. to ten decades. <laughs> okay. So. Um, probably on the lower side of that. Okay. So uh, so so my sort of uh, um, you know gut level intuition, and you know I I haven't uh, 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 you know. Uh, um, uh, Let's spit out your estimate. Over yes, here. yeah, I know, I know. We're, we're you know, uh, uh, you believe in Bayesianism, you believe in spitting out estimates. I think a few thousand years, you know, seems seems more reasonable to me based on. So, so yeah. in other words, the di um, considering where we started at the time of Galileo mm -hmm. and where we are now, mm -hmm. you think we've got you know four to six times the distance left to cover that we've covered already from where from from Galileo's starting point to where we are now. That's correct. So, so you think that we, um, we've got, you know, a, we don't even, 500 years is a lot of time in science, and we don't even know how much uh, time 1,000 years is in science because we've never had 1,000 years of science. That's correct. So, 
I, I'm a, a where are you getting this estimate from? Like, why okay, do you believe I mean, what you believe? Okay, so I mean, I could, you know, the obvious response, you know, would be, you know, where, where are you getting your estimate from? But that's maybe too glib. I mean, uh, the, so, so where, where I'm, I'm getting it from is, is thinking about, you know, for example, how much distance has been, you know, traversed in the last 50 years of AI research. And, uh, you know, in the, uh, 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 in the in in the 60s, for example, uh, you know, uh, you know, there are these uh, you know famous stories that you know a vision was considered a summer project for a you know for an undergraduate, right? And uh, you know what we realized is that we were actually in uh, trying to build intelligent machines, uh, competing against uh, a billion years of evolution, uh, in some sense. And uh, you know, it's um, it's a staggeringly hard problem. Now, uh, you know, a few uh, uh, thousand years, you know, is really just a way of saying that sort of my uncertainty uh, um, uh, is, you know, is, is in the exponent, right? It could be hundreds of years. It could be tens of thousands of years. You know, at that point, uh, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the prior sort of just becomes a, a logarithmic, right? And uh, so... Um, so, so uh, you know, and, and, and that, that was, you know, that's sort of the view that, that I would have formed just from, from, from what I know about, uh, about AI, for example, you know, I'm, uh, and, uh, you know, and then the question for me is, well, well should I revise uh, my estimate just based on the fact that, uh, you know, people like you, other people who's, who, you know, who've thought about this and whose judgments I respect, you know, for some reason seem to believe that it's going to happen in some tens of years. And, uh um, you know, just so far, I haven't found. Uh, um, I, I just haven't found a compelling enough reason to, sh to, sh to shift to uh, to think that this is going to happen. I'd I, I, I point out that if you literally use a logarithmic prior, that um, what I believe updating on the logarithmic prior ends up telling you is that you should expect it to take roughly as long as it's taken already. So, counting from Dartmouth, which was, I think, 1955 or 1958 or something like that, it would be another 50 to 60 years. Now, the thing is, um, if it does take, say, another 50 years, then two days before it actually happens, you'll be estimating 100 years in the future. And okay, well, that's a uh, okay, well, that's I'm not literally talking about a uniform prior overall exponents. I mean, that doesn't exist, first of all. There's not uh, a... Well, it's uh, an improper prior. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, so, so. What I mean is that you know, I'm I'm not prepared to say you know, are we talking about ten to the three years or ten to the four years or uh, or something like that. But uh, um, you know, but but that but that between those two, sort of the uh, you know the the the, uh, the uncertainty is, uh, is 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 in the exponent rather than in the base. Well, for a species that literally only just. Um started building serious computers around 65 years ago, um, I think it's, well, the idea that we've got, uh, that AI progress has been so slow that we're looking at a hundred times as much more work um, just seems pretty odd. I mean, and, and, and especially, I mean, I hate to say Moore's Law, because by and large I feel it's a, a question of software rather than hardware. Yes, and we also um, know that Moore's Law is not a law at all. In some respects it's already stopped, in others it will stop very soon. Moore, Moore's empirical regularity. Yes. And it's not even your friend because Moore's Law of mad science, every 18 months the minimum IQ necessary to destroy the world drops by one point, mm -hmm. you know, making it easier to build AI. Um, so that you can be stupider and still build one is not necessarily a good thing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when I hear a time estimate of 5,000 years, um, where, where has Moore's Law ground to a halt? Like, are people, do people have moon-sized computers or moon-sized superconducting, low-temperature, reversible quantum computers, and are they still unable to get human-level intelligence out of that thing? Uh, I I see that as a, plaus as a as a plausible possibility because uh, uh, I mean I mean I, I don't think that you would want to build a moon-sized computer probably you would probably uh, be building things you know you I mean you would probably putting be putting your effort into miniaturizing the components but but anyway. Uh,